In this lesson, we're going to be discussing what is known as the chain rule. It's going to be the last of our differentiation techniques. We'll look at the product rule, quotient rule, and now we're going to have a look at the chain rule. Typically, it's called a function within a function or the tool that helps us differentiate a function which is written as a function within a function. For example, we can see here we've got y equals x squared plus 3 all squared. Okay? Now, if I was to just highlight this stuff in the brackets here, I'm just going to call it u for the time being. And if I said that our function here was just u squared, you would be able to differentiate that. You would use the power rule and you'd say that it is 2u. However, that's not the function that we have got. We have got x squared plus 3 all squared. So it's a function, which is that x squared plus 3, within a function, which is being squared. So we've got a technique for that, and it's called the chain rule. And it is written as, and it's easiest to express it in Leibniz notation, which is that dy dx notation, where we say that the derivative of y with respect to x, that's what dy dx stands for, the derivative of y with respect to x, that's what we're looking for, is equal to dy du, or the derivative of y with respect to u, multiplied by du dx. That is known as the chain rule. Let's apply it. Okay, so suppose we want to just differentiate this function here. The way in which we set this up is we can see we've got that variable u there. And so well, I'm going to say, let u equal the inside function, okay, which is in this case, x squared plus three. This is going to imply that I've got y being equal to u squared. Okay, where I just replaced that inner function with u, so I've just got y equals u squared, and I've got u being equal to x plus 3. Now, respectively, I can differentiate these individually. If I looked at just u equals x squared, I can differentiate u with respect to x, and I write that as du dx. I'm differentiating u with respect to x, and I can just apply the power rule there. I'm just going to get 2x. I can do the same thing with y. I can say dy du. Or well, the derivative of y with respect to u is 2u. So I can just differentiate each individually. And what we notice here is we have got dy du, which is 2u, and that is this component to our chain rule here. And we have got du dx, the way in which we've set it up, which is this component here. And what the chain rule says is that the derivative of the function that we were looking at originally, which is that function within a function, is the multiple of these two. So then I would write, therefore, therefore, dy dx is equal to, I'm going to write dy du, which is 2u, multiplied by du dx, which is 2x. And now we can see here, we've got a little final resubstitution here, where we've got this u, that was originally here. u is equal to x squared, so I'll just dust that off, and I say I've got 2 outside of x squared plus 3, multiplied by 2x. And if I clean that up there, I can multiply these two terms there to get 4x outside of x squared plus 3. And that is my derivative of my function. So this here is the derivative of that. It's the derivative of my function that I was looking for. And we can do a little bit of side work over here. We say, okay, well, I've got y being equal to x squared plus 3 squared. Okay, well, I can just expand that. That's just equal to x squared plus 3 x squared plus 3. I can simplify this function. I say I've got x to the power of 4 plus it's going to be 3x squared plus 3x squared so it's plus 6x squared plus 9. Just expanding those brackets there. That's what my y is. And then I can just differentiate that. That's power rule. I can say I've got y prime equals and then 4x cubed plus 12x there. And I can factorize that and I can pull out a common factor of 4x and be left with x squared plus 3. And I notice I've actually got the same result here. 
Okay, so you could have done it that way. However, the chain rule is gonna come very, very useful when we don't have a function within a function that's just squared. What if I said, differentiate y being equal to x cubed minus three x to the power of 40? You're not gonna expand that, okay? You're probably gonna say it's a lot more efficient and probably easier to use the chain rule. So that's what we're gonna do. Here, I notice, well, I've got to differentiate this function and it is a function within a function because I can express it as u to the power of 40, which is a function, and the function itself, x squared minus three, the highlighted business, is also its own respective function. So here I would say, find dy dx by the chain rule. Remind myself that the chain rule is dy dx being equal to dy du multiplied by du dx. And I wanna set it up and structure it very nicely here. So I have got my function y being equal to x cubed minus three x to the power of 40. And we say let u equal the inside function. In this case here, x cubed minus three x. This implies that y is equal to u to the power of 40. Okay, and we can see that there. We can see it written out. Now I can just differentiate these individually respectively. So if I'm just focusing on y equals x cubed minus 3x, I can take the derivative of u with respect to x. This is why this alignment notation is very nice. And we can say 3x squared minus 3. We can do the same thing over for y. dy du, because I'm differentiating y with respect to u, because u is the variable that I am differentiating with respect to. Power rule it. Bring that 40 down, take one from the power, 40, u to the power of 39. Then I say, therefore, dy dx is equal to, if I want to hide, so just substituting it back in, and then again, I noticed u here was originally x cubed minus 3x, because I want on my derivative with respect to x, so I've just got this final substitution back here. We've got 40 outside of x cubed minus 3x to the power of 39 multiplied by, or I might just not even put that symbol in there, 3x squared minus 3. And this right here is our derivative function. But just remember, remember this notation. If we've got a function and we want to differentiate it with respect to x that is equivalently like saying f prime of x and you can do that with if you've got a function y and you want to differentiate dy with respect to x you can write that as y prime it's all just notation 